Uh, good afternoon. We are compelled uh, uh, to comment on the, the illegalities that are taking place uh, in relation to the arrests with impunity that have been undertaken so far. The arrest of Mr. Zumani, uh, Zimba, who we heard that a few days ago there was an attempt uh, or there was a, a, an execution or scheme to get him into Shimbokaila prison even when there was no order from court for him to end up in prison. When the matters were raised today before court, they have in a ceremonious manner moved him to Ibex police. All these illegalities are there, there just to show that now we have a government that has reduced us into a pariah state. Uh, there is no law or uh, rule of law that is being followed. It is basically impunity on the basis of the will of an individual. We know the motive behind the arrest of Mr. Zumani. We reviewed this days before, two weeks before they executed that scheme. There are young people that have also been arrested from yesterday, Mr. Thomas Piri, Mr. Andis Luke, who have been arrested based on the fact that the UPND government have been exposed in terms of their scheme against the Catholic Church. We saw, of course, on social media uh, that was awash with the orders signed by the head of state and other letters written by the permanent secretary, which now today, instead of uh, owning up that those things were not um, in order to be done, they were inimical to the peace of this country and that uh, they must be withdrawn. Instead, we are having young people victimized. This Mr. Andy, from yesterday, he's been handcuffed and also put, you know, um, uh, he has also been, you know, cuffed at the, with the legs from yesterday up to now. And obviously, this has caused a lot of injury to his legs and his hands and they are swelling. And they have continued to torture him at the uh, faucet quarters to try and force him to implicate uh, individuals because of the fact that these were already in public domain and people may have accessed and may be posted or may be read them and the, or tagged in and therefore it has circulated. We know that this was first seen on a Twitter and it was published by a, a, the source was an you know, um, external or international organization that reviewed all these things. And uh, it's very unfortunate that the UPND have decided to use brutality as a way of silence people. We want just to encourage those young people, wherever they are, are being kept to remain strong and resolute. They have committed no offense. They are not the authors of those uh, documents. They are not the ones who even first published those documents. If they may have been found that maybe around certain pages that are associated with them, they pay, they, those letters were there. That does not amount to a criminal offence. This brutality must come to an end. Thank you very much. That's one comment, Honorable. Uh, among the people who Kawana mentioned, there's a, a UPND member who has not been yet uh, arrested. And uh, why is not a uh, is not yet arrested? Well, uh, the Kawana is just a Vuvuzela. And if the police are being directed by Kawana, then it's sad for this country. If the police are going to be taking instructions from Mr. Kawana, then that is the end of the rule of law. Thank you.